There is a new pathology spreading through the so-called knowledge economy. It doesn't destroy ideas directly. It devours them hiddenly. I call it hidden consumption. It begins with strategic silence. The system sees an original thinker, someone who doesn't obey the unwritten codes of the networks, the algorithms of belonging, the rituals of recognition, and instead of debating him, it simply erases him. No acknowledgement, no citation, no engagement, just silence. Because silence is safer than confrontation, cleaner than conflict. But silence doesn't mean ignorance. Behind the curtain, they're all watching. They read, they download, they consume. They just don't leave a trace. This is the age of voyeuristic knowledge. Where thinkers are not engaged, they are observed. Their ideas circulate without their names attached. Their work becomes anonymous content, metabolized by others, who later reappear as the originators of those same ideas. It's a process. First, strategic silence. No public recognition. Then, hidden consumption. Private appropriation. Finally, conceptual repackaging the re-emergence of your own thought wearing someone else's face. This is how the intellectual network feeds. It extracts the vital novelty of original minds while denying their existence. It wants the fire, but not the firebringer. A quiet metabolism of originality. This is not mere plagiarism. It's an epistemic pathology. A collective defense mechanism that protects the system from transformation. A structural pathology of an age that confuses information with wisdom, reproduction with creation, visibility with value. Because to truly engage with an original thinker would require transformation. And most people, even thoughtful people, fear that. They prefer to steal the light and pretend it came from within. To consume in secret and deny they ever looked. To fabricate false genealogies of ideas that keep the real sources buried. Yet something deeper is lost in this process. Not ownership, but lineage. The living continuity of thought. The relation between minds that allows ideas to remain alive. But there is another way to inhabit knowledge. Not as possession, but as communion. Not as extraction, but as participation. That is what I call a knowledge ecosystem. Not a market of visibility. Because when we stop measuring truth by its applause, ideas can unfold again freely like life itself. To acknowledge a source is not to diminish oneself. It is to remain in relation with the very life of thought. So if you are one of those hidden witnesses, stop consuming in secret. Speak. Credit. Engage. Restore the lineage of ideas. Because if we lose relation, we lose thought. And if we lose thought, we lose ourselves.